All right, what's up, guys? I've gotten lots of questions. How to add images to your text just like I do. So I'm going to be doing, showing you guys a tutorial. So first step, you're going to create a new project. Stock video, just a black blank screen. Add the text that you want with the font that you want. Don't need to add any shadows because we'll add that later. Just export. You can do a new project or back to your old project. And you're going to go to photos, find the photo that you want. And you just add overlay of the text that you just downloaded and then you're going to go to blend darken and you're just going to adjust it to however you want so we'll just do like that I guess Take a screenshot and crop it down. Take the photos and you're gonna go to remove BG. This is basically just a really, really simple. Ugh. No, no, great. What the fuck? You're just gonna oh oh upload there we go. Upload the photo that you just screenshotted. You're gonna download it. This is pretty good. After downloads, you go to download right there. You have to save it to your photos. Then you're gonna go to PixArt. Whatever, like that. You go over here, you add the, the newly downloaded photo with no background. This is where you're gonna add your shadows. Stuff so you can go shadow. And adjust it however you want. Just like whatever, it doesn't really, however you want. And you download, and then you can put it in for more or cap cut. Alright. I spent how to put images in your text on mobile. Now that all the, all the, um, not true fans are gone, I'm going to show you guys a way easier way that I just discovered myself. How to put image and text. I like this way a lot better. So, and transport background, frame rate, whatever you want. It's just a lot better. Like this way, it's just like... much it's just better because you can add your text the reason i like it better is just because the image just fits better in the text so you're gonna want to add the things you have to add your own fonts so you just text add text font view all fonts and we want to import a new font Find the one that you want. Because it doesn't work. Open. It's complete. Just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to color and fill. All the way over to this right option right here. Select media. And then select the image that 
that you want. And look, uh, let's just make it bigger. Oops, um, can't see it. Anyways, you get the point. I don't know why we can't, you can't see it. There we go, there we go. It's just, if we can just zoom in, there, see? It's just way better. It fits. It just fit in the. See, and then what you do is you just go. You do current frame as PNG and you export. Allowance Pro tip: Tell your parents to save money on wireless and give you a raise. Switch to Xfinity Mobile and save forty-five percent yeah. over Verizon. Get the best price this for two lines of unlimited, just thirty dollars a line per month. I forgot to tell you guys how to add shadows. But anyways, it's better this way. Because if we could see right here, this is the one with a light motion. I know. We didn't get the one from a light motion yet. Never mind. Didn't. There we go. Ah, bruh. I have to save there. There, if we just look, see, it just fits. See, we see, you, you get the whole picture. And then you can just crop it out. Sense. Personally, this is a way that I just learned and I like it better. So, this is the end of my tutorial. Hope you guys learned something.